Hey everybody, this is Dance Music Kid Vinny Vinny Michael back with another episode with a episode another episode of Walk and Talk. This is the second episode now. Um, it stopped raining. Metro. This which used to be Dominion. Many, many, many years ago this used to be the Dominion. Now they switch it to Metro. The wall back there used to be the entrance. And they took it out and placed the entrance over there. And this is Iona Plaza. We used to come down here when we were kid, like, like when we were kids a lot. I didn't own a square when we were living on Bloor Street. And then I think where the Becker is, or the Pizza Pizza, or the Dental, what they, there used to be a restaurant over here. There used to be a restaurant at Iona Square. And they took it out and put, and, and I think they put the Dental right over there. So we used to come to Iona Square a lot. Yeah, so the Metro used to be the Dominion. And so, yeah, it used to be, it used to be the Dominion and then they call it Metro. And the end, where the wall is used to be the entrance. So now we're heading out to Maharlika. I'm gonna go have my Sunday dinner. Actually, I'm gonna stop at the bank actually before I do that. So now I'm just gonna go on Halika now. Yeah, I just had to stop by get cash a little bit. Very, very disappointed with the Ontario Works at the Region of Appeal. Very disappointed in them. I'm gonna say this right here to all my viewers. Um, you know how normally I would get the disability, get money for my disability and all that? And what I did not like, okay, so, so like I've, I've been part of the Ontario Works for about seven years, right? And the goal is was to get me off of to get me off of Ontario Works when I get a job. So they changed the rules, okay? So then all of a sudden, 
I got my money back in July because I got it. My mom, my mom and I signed up back in July, like 2017 after my accident when I broke my arm. So, so like after all these all these years, they decided to close my file because apparently they did an audit. They did an audit on me back in June. Which I didn't get, okay, so they give me my money for July. If you're giving me my $543 a month in July, then why are you doing, why did you do an audit back in June? Which you already didn't close my file. And like, my caseworker made an excuse saying that, um, that like, they, I received, I think the, the person who was in charge of the audit sent me a message on my benefits. And I said to my, and I said, like, I haven't used my benefits since my last caseworker. So why you decided to close my file after I'm going through a bit of a situation right now? Because when I get the money, like my monthly, like my monthly allowance from the Ontario Works from the Region of Peel, you know that goes towards my groceries and everything else, and my cell phone. And which I don't get because they gave me my money back in July, but. But the thing is, you decided to close my file, which is not really fair. And and like, if you're gonna, because I had no idea, because my caseworker made an excuse saying that uh, she was gonna close my case. Like they said, they did an audit. Like I said, they did an audit for me back in June. They did an audit on me back in June. Okay. And then they gave me money. They gave me my money in July. I was supposed to get. I was supposed to get my money in the beginning of August. So maybe that something happened with my file. That's I made a call to my caseworker. Then all of a sudden, when she sent me the message, I need the requirements. My landlord statement, my bank statement. No, that's easy because he do used to do with all my caseworkers. And then, and all the other and like my employment statement and everything else. I wish my caseworker were to call me and we would have gone through it together, but she made an excuse saying that they sent me messages through my benefits. I, like I said, I had not used my benefits in over two, three years, like two, almost three years. And she tried to apologize. No, you're not sorry. You're not sorry. Because you're, you're what, it, what it is, like, you're, there's people like me who are suffering that needs help while you, while you are, while you are, like, giving giving all the attention who are the, to the people who are coming into this country and defrauding our system. The hell with you guys. With somebody with a learning disorder, you all can go fuck yourselves. Now it's a blessing in disguise because I'm gonna get myself a cash money job so I can earn cash money. Sick and tired of the fucking government bullshit. It's supposed to help people like me, not fucking idiots who are coming to this country and destroying it. Fuck you all. Seriously, fuck you all. Fraud and exchange student motherfuckers. Sorry guys, it's not, no, 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 that's not, it's not really fair, so fuck you all. And for people who try to help me, fuck you all too. Sorry, to my viewers, I apologize for that language, this is... Really blows my bubble, but it's okay. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get like look for, look for jobs that can earn cash money underneath the table. And the government of Ontario can go fuck themselves. And fuck pure and fuck the region of Peel. The hell with you guys. It's a blessing in disguise. I'm tired of it. So right, so now we're we now on to, so wall, so over here, this is the Waldi's restaurant, the longest establishment in Mississauga history. They've been here since the early 70s, and this is the longest establishment in Mississauga history. Apparently they were to close it down and turn it into apartments. So now, and then they turned down the offer Cause this is actually considered a Mississauga landmark where the Wallies is. It used to be a Mississauga landmark. It's now considered a Mississauga landmark because this past 50 years. It was constructed in 1972. 
and it's been here ever since. There was a apparently the owner before apparently um, while well, he's caught on fire, so the owner can get insurance, and then the, he re and then it was refixed. It used to be my mom's favorite hangout, and the Essel gas station is still here. Yeah, now I feel better letting this out. I apologize for my language. Sorry, guys. I'm just not too happy at the moment, but I will bounce back from this. Ten minutes into the episode, I just finished off the first. I had to cut the first episode out. Like I had to cut it out because it was, a, it was pouring as rain right when I was at Central Parkway. Then I went over to um, the Mississauga Community Center. It has changed ever since. We used to go there like every weekend and then like they could, we used to go there like every weekend for swimming. Before it was like very different. Up until 2001 or 2002, they started constructing the Mississauga Valley. Like 2002, 2003, they started reconstructing. And it's very different. Yeah, it's so boring and dull now. It's not like what it used to be. And now they're building the LRT. Or they're almost constructing the tracks. And Wally's just, like I said, Wally's is still here. The longest Mississauga landmark. A lot of history here. That's how like, I would like to share with you guys, like my viewers, like my viewers out there, like, you know, during the time when my mom was here and everything else and like my, our history behind it. And I can't believe this apartment's right here. One of the oldest apartments here in Mississauga one of the oldest I wouldn't want to live here not in, in, in a filth hole like this oh hell no not even this piece of shit over here it's called Lotus Garden Central Parkway West <laughs> Now it's thundering again. <laughs> and Phil Place is right over there. I used to, my, we used to live over there from 1991 up until 1999. And then, like, we lived in, the, like, we, we still lived in Mississauga, but, like, the thing is, like, we lived all over the area almost. Like, literally lived in the area, but still remain here. So now we're coming up, I believe, Elm Drive Public School. This school was built, this school was built, um, the school, okay, but way back in the days, this used to be Britannia. And after Britannia, after when they called it in like the early 70s, like the mid, early 70s, up until... I think, believe the 90s, early 2000s. And then this all used to be fields. Yeah, this used to be Britannia. And they closed it down and turned into the adult school. And then by close to like after the early like 2020s, they tore it all down and created a new public school, Elm Drive Public School. It took them about nearly, actually they built this pretty quick. I say two and a half years to complete this. One of the fastest, yeah, so now it was all fields before and now 
they turn into Elm Drive Public Schools. So this is one of the newest schools on the block. The newest public schools on the block, so good job to them. And then the property was there for a while and then they created this. So Britannia is no longer. It was, a, and then it became an adult learning center. It became a night school. Yeah, adult learning center. It became a night school. The reason why it became was a night school because those who like, say, say for example, um, you want to go to school and uh, you want to take up courses to increase your marks and all that. So in case you want to go to a good college or a good university, or so you failed one of your courses in school, you were able to go to to the night school, to the night school here. And complete those courses and affordable and yeah so they tore all that down just to build uh, elm drive public school Yeah, a lot of history there too. Yeah. <laughs> oh, such a beautiful now now it stopped raining. We can hear the thunder, then it stopped raining. It was like off and not like off and it's it was on then it was off. Yes, for to my viewers I apologize for my language earlier. I'm just a little frustrated, but I'm okay now. Just want to let it out here. I apologize to my viewers for that language. It's very frustrating at the moment. But I'm okay now. I just have to let it out. I just want people thinking that I'm a crazy person. <laughs> Crystal, Christ the King, right over there. Bishop Scalabrini. Actually, before, yeah, one of these smallest schools in Mississauga, like it was under the St. Peter and Paul school, like the St. Peter and Paul banner, up until 95, and then Christ the King took over, uh, like, got Bishop Scalabrini and Father Gates. This is one of the smallest schools in Mississauga. Where Christ the King was standing, or, or better, or Crystal Ray, it used to be all fields. Up until 1994. 95 it was it was already completed. So this used to be all fields back in the days while the school was already been here. A bit which is now St. Giovanni Scalabrini. Back in the days so everyone know in our generation was called Bishop Scalabrini. Yeah, so this will where, where Crystal Ray is standing. This is be all fields. Up until 94. 95 the church was constructed. At first it was a Portuguese church at first and all the other cultures started moving into the neighborhood now just called now it's mixed now here we are father gates here's a little history lesson before father gates was constructed father gates was over on holly mount 
it was a hold and it, and it was also a holding school at where John Cabot was. It was a holding school for Father Gates and Xavier and Philip Pocock. It was a holding school. And then it moved over to Hollymount until 1990. And it came right over here on Confederation and Central Parkway, where it's standing now. So the school is actually 34 years old. Actually, yeah, 34 years old. It was over at Hollymount until 1990. And then there's the plaza. Yeah, Father Gates, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. So, so, so the church has been around for 29 years. It's going to be 30 next year. Oh. <laughs> so chilly out well not really chilly <laughs> and then the plaza this plaza has changed over the years. It changed over the years. The, lo the longest, I think it's the Ida. IDA is still here. Lazar Bakery. And they changed a lot of the shops here. And Dairy Queen is still here. Where the Null Frills is, that used to be Longo's. Where no frills is, that used to be, that used to be Longos. No, not Longos, um, Lobes. There you go, used to be Lobes. the yellow is yeah we're, we're that yeah that, this used to be lobes and then later on it turned into no frills that's why you see the yellow the yellow brick that's no frills so that plaza yeah so the plaza has changed over the years some of the shops some of the places are still remaining like they, they, they changed it all up now i'm refuting north used to be that used to be the golden turtle and they move over to maven when they move over to mavis and then used to be a vietnamese restaurant beside it apparently um if it was a 2012 day, they apparently they had a, a lock. They were locked out out of, out of the restaurant because one time me, Father Francesco, and Father Sal were about to go eat, and next thing you know, there was a lock on the restaurant. <laughs> the story goes they they were price gouging, and they were overcharging the customers, and then they were locked. Out. Apparently, they got locked out, and they got locked out. So they moved over to uh, Mavis, not Mavis, uh, Grand Park. And mate on the Mavis uh, on the Mavis side. Yeah, Golden Turtle. Father Saul used to call it Golden China. Yeah, it was actually. And then they call it the food the Foodie North. Later on. Yeah, a lot of changes, a lot of changes. But it's all good. A lot of changes in this, in a lot of changes over in that plaza. And then the park, the park. My mom used to take us when we were kids, and the park is still here. They used to take us to the park over here. 
We got swings and slides and everything. We used to go, go to the park there in the early 90s. It's called the St. Martin L. Dokin Community Park. And this park has been here ever since. It used to be off woods back in the days. And it used to be like the old park logo. And now it's raining again, my viewers. We're 25 minutes into the, set, into the episode. So this is a back-to-back -back episode. Cause normally I don't like normally I don't do this, but due to the fact I just started like I was gonna do a full episode of Walk and Talk, my my story, but it's okay. Give me the key parts. <laughs> so I was gonna do I was gonna shoot the episode the episode there. At the community said the business was like nothing much and it's like really boring. It was like, uh, might as well give you the quick history now about Mississauga Valley Community Center. It's like, oh, it doesn't feel the 90s vibe anymore. So we're 26 minutes into the, like I said, we're now we're 26 minutes. So yeah, so I did like a back to back episode of Walk and Talk My Story. So technically this is an hour in somewhat, but to my viewers, I apologize for that language once again. I just said I was really very upset recently. That's why I had to let it out to you guys. Let bygones be bygones. Now it's raining down here. <laughs> Central Parkway West. You know what's funny? People think like Central Parkway. When, you, when people mention Central Parkway here in Canada, they're thinking about New York. No, 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 no. There's also Central Parkway in Mississauga. We're 28 minutes, so we're half an hour in. So this is like, kind of like, well, both, half, both and both. There you go. <laughs> now we're heading off to Grant. Now we're on Grand Park. There's Grand Park. Back in the, uh, the Grand Park Plaza has been around for, for for the past decade. 
Uh, before that, it used to be all fields. And so they started constructing it a few decades ago. And they have the TNT super, the TNT Superstore right here. So it became like a mini plaza over at Grand Park. It's pretty big. They, they have a few shops here, like a couple, several shops here and there and all. Oh, we're half an hour in. Out. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Rain's coming down again. Oh my goodness! <laughs> Raining again, ladies and gentlemen. Yep, there's the TNT. There it is. Yeah, the golden turtle. Yeah, the, it's in this area now. That's why it's in it, guys. It's better to have it in the better area than have it somewhere in that plaza over there because it was not, it was not making, it was making money, but they were price gouging. <laughs> they left a notice on the door and they got locked out. <laughs> Golden, yeah, it's in this area now. Actually, it's actually it's better that way. It's in this area, not over there at the Confederation Plaza. Over at the Parkway West uh, Plaza. Four minutes into the episode. <laughs> First it rained, then it stopped. So yeah, so I decided to leave my house a little early today because like normally, you know, I don't like being at home much. Like, yeah, they, yeah, like, there's lots of change. Since my mom died, lots have changed. So, like, I'm always, no, nothing against, I love my home here in Mississauga, but I love to venture out into other parts of Mississauga. Well, we'll see, I hang out in Scarborough or North York. 
that part of Toronto, or sometimes Etobicoke. Depends upon 35 minutes in the episode. We have five, uh, like, about, about 40, about eight minutes left into the episode, then I will cut it. About eight minutes left uh, on my camera, and we'll cut it shortly. Just want to give you my, like, a bit of what happened, a bit, like, so basically I'm giving you what happened this week, what's happened the past few months, I'm gonna give you a brief history about the city of Mississauga. So it was like a half and half. I haven't done a regular episode of Walk and Talk, so that's why I wanna do like the So basically this series is based on my, my, my life. Like the buildings and all that stuff. Like the buildings, facilities, restaurants, and all that stuff here in Mississauga is based on my life. So I wanna give you a history lesson. And give you, and then also give you a brief of what's happening with me. Is that Junior? Oh, it looks like one of my friends from Peter and Paul back in the days. I guess it gets a little crazy in this area as so I have to run fast across the street. Goodness, what an afternoon. First, it stopped that was raining here on this side of Mississauga. Like I said, I'm surprised my area did not flood. So, everybody in Mississauga, just stay safe. Be safe. So, all my Saga soldiers here in Mississauga, to so all my Saga soldiers, be safe. And all of the GTA, be safe too. My GTA family, stay safe too. China Tire. Yeah, these are like, they have a lot of old, old shops, old facilities here still. I think this is the Cooksville Lumber, I believe. And the Cooksville Lumber, Lumber is one of the longest, one of the longest here. China Tire, yeah. They still, so, but some of their buildings have been repainted to make it look like it's new. But so these businesses have been around since the early days, including Cooksville Collision Body Shop. A lot of history here too. Yeah, Co yeah, Cooksville Bo uh, Collision Body Shop. That's been around s since the 70s, 60s, early, like mid 60s, early 70s. And Protect. I think in this area, this used to be like a flea, in this area used to be a flea market and they closed it down. I believe it was on Mavis. Mississauga Car Detailing. And these guys are licensed by the city. You can come here and get your car detailed. And it's actually subsidized by the city. So anybody who wants to get a car, deal, car detailing, come to Mississauga Car Detailing. These guys make good business. I recommend. 
Oh, 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 oh. Oh, 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 oh. Holy shit, these guys are fast. So I'll go over here. Oh my gosh. <laughs> 40 minutes. So I'll cut through here. <laughs> oh my gosh. So I'll cut through here. So like yeah, so like move up mutually. Alright. So It's like, hey, don't give me what I actually got. Actually, I'm wearing black, so what the fuck? I'm like, holy shit. Actually, the front's old, but the front, the, the side they've repainted. See, a lot of the old shops are being repainted. Like the old brick, the old, and then there's fun noodle house. Two minutes left into the episode, two minutes left, and I will cut it soon. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so I will cut the episode now. Thanks for all tuning in on walk and talk my story and i will see you all very soon have a great afternoon everybody stay safe